Hello guys, welcome to Creative Studio. My name is Susil and today I am going to show you how to create a simple web page template in Photoshop. To create this template, we are going to use Photoshop. Before that, I have created a scratch for the template in my copy and we are going to use this as a reference for our template so first of all create a new document press ctrl n to create a new document and give a name to your document let's say simple web design then choose the width of your document just like that and the resolution is 72 and then hit ok now the page is loaded press ctrl 1 to view its actual size now the next thing we need to do is we need to load our scratch into the document so that we can use that as our reference now I am going to scale it a little bit so that it will fit our main area just like that ok looks good now just create a new layer and in this layer we are going to create new sections that we will need to place in our website and as you can see we have some header part and first of all we need to create those header part for the top header part I am choosing a size of 40 pixel and creating a guide like that and for the side margin padding I am using 15 pixels Now let's create some text for our website. Let's create a phone number and an email address. I'm using the font open sans and the size is 14 pixel. Now we need icons so I already had an icon so I picked up from my desktop and I'm going to resize it so that they will fit the text and I'm resizing it even bit let's zoom in a little bit and place it there you can arrange the icon on their correct positions use ctrl T to transform your images I am choosing the font open sense and the color is black which is uh, x222 for the text and all the icon ok arrange the icon so that they are in the correct position Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to group these layers into a single group. Before that, let's see that if they are aligning into a center or not. Okay. 
okay perfect now group them by pressing ctrl g and rename the folder just like let's say top left now zoom out and see it looks good and i'm going to pull it little bit into the left portion because it's going to be right there I am going to resize them again and I am going to place it on its correct position. Remember to use Ctrl T to scale the images as you want. Now it looks fine. Okay, perfect. Now I am going to copy this layer because I need that on the right side too to create some navigations. So duplicate it and rename it ctrl z to duplicate the layer or groups now i'm going to remove these icons because i don't need them on the right side on the right side will have these three links so I'm just gonna write their name like about us login sign up and last is help you can use the tab key to create the spacing between these links I am using two tabs for the space and it looks good so press ctrl T to transform and place it into the right position so that it looks good now zoom out and let's see how it looks ok good Now, the next thing we can do is we can create a divider that uh, we can place between these two elements between between the email address and phone number. So, to create a divider, select the rectangular marquee tool and the height is 40 pixel and the width is just 1 pixel. So, select it. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, now place it into the middle of this, like that, and now choose a color little light color maybe let's say ccc and hit alt backspace to apply 
now we are going to do the same thing okay oh, I forgot to put it into the right of the email so on the same layer click on the rectangular marquee tool and place it right there and hit all backspace okay on the right also we are doing the same things as we did on the left drag and place on the center and hit alt backspace to fill it with the color again do the same okay now that looks good now the next thing we need to do is we need to create the same divider between the top header part between this top header section so to do this just go to select and transform and we need the height of about just one pixel so let's zoom in a little bit okay again it's two pixel let's zoom in again okay now it looks good press press alt backspace and okay now the top header part looks good I think I have not properly placed the color on the left and right side because I selected the sort divider so I am going to color these parts just drag this and hit all backspace okay now it looks good now select all these group into a folder maybe let's say top header now we need to work on the main header section for this choose any width and I am choosing 90 pixel height so just to create a guide so that we can create our main header section in that part now we need a logo for our web page so I am creating a simple logo um, I am using the simple icons Let's write some text into the logo. That will be the part of our logo. And I'm going to choose a little darker color.
let's create a little icon okay that looks good now I merged all the layers of the logo and created a single layer and named it logo now again I'm creating a new layer for the navigation part like that I'm choosing the font size 15 pixel maybe I, I could choose 16 pixel okay and I'll make it little bold and I'll transform to the upper case I'll make bold from here maybe now looks good now press ctrl T to select the all the text and place it on the position that you want and I think that will be okay because I'm going to put a source icon on the right let's find a source icon and just rasterize it now ctrl T to transform the icon and make it just like that so that it looks nice okay that looks fine now I think the main header section is complete now I'm going to group these layers and I'll rename it navigation and I'll again group logo and the navigation together into a folder main header and we have created the main header and top header so I'm grouping them again press ctrl G to group and I'm grouping them into a folder header now the next thing we need to do is we need to create an image slider so to do this I'm going to create a container for the slider that's okay let's give it a height of 600 pixel just press it and create a guide now select this area and just randomly pick up a color it doesn't matter which color because we are using that to place our image now we need to Im we need an image so I've got an image and next thing we need to do is just put the image above the rectangle layer and create it a clipping layer mask Now group them into a single folder called slider. Again create a new layer. We are using this to write the text in the slider. So okay, like that. Now change the font maybe Roboto Roboto Condensed I am using the font Roboto Condensed and 
it is bold and 48 pixel Now let's place the test into the center. To do this, select the rectangle and the test layer. Okay, it looks good. The next thing we need to do is we need to create a explore more button for this let's create a rectangle I created a guide at the center so that I can place the button exactly at the center ok like this now let's write some text I'm using the font open sense and regular and the font size is about 40 pixel Text transform is normal. Okay. Let's place it at the center about that. Okay. The rectangle looks little bit larger. So let's press Ctrl T to transform. Okay, that looks good, but just I need to place the rectangle correctly. Okay, now I think I shouldn't be using the rectangle, so let's select the rectangle area and let's stroke this selection about 2 pixel ok now we don't need that rectangle press ctrl D to deselect We need a small arrow 
pointing to the bottom so select a polygon mercury tool and let's create a icon I'm doing this just to make the icon looks consistent Okay. I want to make the icon a little bit wider. So let's distort it a little bit like that. Okay looks good now it's looking good now let's group this three layer into a single group called bottom because it's a part of the bottom okay now it looks good thank you so much for watching we will do rest of the things in the next video hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you